Hey guys, Aaron Crow here again with ScareDog.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do fading in and out in your Flash CS5 project. Again, for those of you that might have moved things around on your workspace or closed some items and it doesn't quite look like mine, go to Window, Workspace, Reset Essentials, that'll put everything back to normal for you. Again, this layer here states ignore me. Just ignore that layer, that's where I've got my logo. So you're going to start off on your layer. With that first frame selected, we're going to go to File, Import, Import Stage. I have three items that I'm going to fade in and out here. I'm going to select that first item, tell it Open. It tells it to import the sequence of images, just tell it No. Import as a single flattened bitmap is OK. I'm going to move that first item here. With that item selected, I'm going to press F8. Set the type to Movie Clip. And I'm going to call this Car Clip. Tell it OK. Now I'm going to double click this. We're going to go inside of our Car Clip instance here. Now we have our first layer. I'm going to set this to about 100 frames. So I'm going to go out to frame 100. Convert to keyframes. And then in this area here, just anywhere, right click, create classic tween. Now what we want to do is we want to create the fading in and out. And as you see as I move the timeline, nothing happens. So around frame 10, I want to right click, insert keyframe. About 10 frames before the end, I'm going to right click, insert keyframe. And I'm going to select my first frame. I'm going to select the image. I'm going to come over here to Color Effect, and I'm going to set that to Alpha. Now yours is probably going to start out around 100%. We're just going to move that down to 0. Then we're going to select our last frame, select the image, Color Effect, Alpha, and again, we want this to say 0. Then we're going to insert a new layer by coming down here and selecting the new layer. And we're going to start here at frame 90. I'm going to right click go to insert keyframe I'm going to go to file import import to stage I'm going to select my second image tell it OK this comes up that you want to do the sequence of the images again tell it no import a single flattened bitmap is OK we're just going to move that where it covers our other image I'll move out 100 frames to 190 I'm going to select that, then right click, convert to keyframes, and again in this area, right click, create classic tween. Then 10 frames in, I'm going to right click inside of here, insert keyframe, then 10 frames before the end, I'm going to select here, right click, insert keyframe. I'm going to move back to the first frame of that layer, select the image, set my color effect to alpha and at the very end I'm going to select that last frame select the image color effect alpha and we're going to repeat the process one more time here at frame 180 I'm going to click there I'm going to insert keyframe I'm going to import my last image by going file import to stage and selecting that last image there tell it open Import a single flattened bitmap, OK. Then we're going to move forward 100 frames. So we're going to go to frame 280, right click, convert to keyframes. And in this area again, right click, create classic tween. 10 frames in, right click, insert keyframe. And 10 frames before the end, right click insert keyframe. Then we're going to select that first keyframe there in this layer, this last layer, select the image, go to effect, set it to alpha, and the last keyframe, select the image, effect, alpha. Okay, let's preview it and take a look. First thing we need to do is go back to our scene one. That usually helps. Now let's take a look. Hey 
Hey guys, once again, this was your fading in and out tutorial. My name again is Aaron Crow. I'm with ScareDog.com. I look forward to your comments. And again, please rate and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.